everyone welcome back to the channel panther schools sfdc panther 2.0 my name is amit singh and i hope you all are doing good so far we have covered 13 episode of our sales course plus whatsapp integration series and the last episode was all about how you can send the message using template and the templates are really helpful whenever you are trying to integrate or you are trying to communicate to your customer first you have to send the message using a template if they are sending a reply to you that means they are agreeing now you can send the multiple messages or the information that you wanted to share with them as discussed in the last video in this video we are going to talk about how we can send the images or the document or videos to the customer with the help of our postman because postman is a api testing tool that we are going to utilize here in this video and maybe in the further videos we are going to see how we can quickly send the images or the documents using salesforce ui as well before we get started please do like share subscribe and also press that bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel now if we talk about uh, sending the images or document i hope you all are logged in into your whatsapp account um, not whatsapp your your facebook account and if you are not logged in please go there and uh, log into your facebook account and navigate to your application and then on the top you will see document and then we just need to click on reference cloud api this is the reference that we have to go, um, go there and then from the left hand side you will see messages so within the messages there are multiple examples if you see over here like what are the media messages what we wanted to send it but before that i would like to uh, tell you that the media objects that we have within the message so whenever we are trying to send the media it could be a image it could be a document or audio we have a separate media object if you see here we've got id the id of our audio this is again required when the type is audio document image speaker or video then there is a link if we really wanted to send the information via link let's say you have a file within salesforce you have prepared a public link and you wanted to share it with your customer you can use this link then file name that is required if you wanted to send a document like pdf and then provider this is only for the on premise api and that we really don't need to worry about but we are definitely going to work with these two parameters like in uh, link and file name so what uh, we are going to see here is we are going to see first how we can send the image and then we are going to send how we can send the document and then we will try to see if we can send the video as well so to send the image we are going to use uh, a link so i'm going to say sample image link you can also google it and if you have you can use it so maybe i'm going to use this lorium and we've got this image so if we click here this is a sample image that we have got it could be any other image if you wanted to take it maybe this one right we, we you can take it any image which is publicly available i would like to take this copy image and this image we have got just take this image and navigate to your postman the collection that we have got from whatsapp cloud api under the messages you will find there is a collection not collection there is a request which is already there provided by whatsapp that is send send image by url this is really we are going to work with and this is something you might see the body of your request is the url is same as we have been keep using into the multiple videos method is going to be post the format of your url is going to be json now here as we wanted to send the image so instead of our type instead of being text or template words we are saying okay the type is now image and then as we said i wanted to send an image i will say okay we have to provide the image object and this is our media object the media object we talked about and here we wanted to specify the link because that is the something we have here so we have just pasted uh, the link over here and then maybe we send it before we send it remember 
using this get started and sending the test message to the customer that is really important for us and once we have received the message we really need to reply it once we are done with the reply then we are going to send this image the reason because uh, this is a test uh, instance of our whatsapp and we have also talked about anytime you wanted to send a message to a customer it is it has to be through a template that is approved by whatsapp now let's send this information uh, this message we got a success message and you clearly see on the right hand side we got that copy image that is popping up and if you click on this image we are able to see that image so this is one thing that we are able to send it maybe let's say we wanted to send the document so i have already opened this sample pdf you can google it and you will get a sample pdf available out there now we wanted to send the document so instead of emails we will say just type it as document and here as well in line number six this is going to be document and the link we can paste it over here and then send it so if you see the status close is 200 the size of our request is 767 sorry 967 bytes and we got the pdf is here and we can download it or we can preview it but if you see it says that it is an untitled like the there is no title so when you are trying to send a document you can also use a parameter called file name we have already discussed and this is related for this is only intended for the document type so we can say test only pdf or maybe we can say test only dot pdf and send it now you can see here this is a test only dot pdf and it, it it is automatically going to take whatever the pdf it is maybe uh, let's say we are going to search for a instead of dummy pdf let's say dummy word file and if there is something a word file that is available maybe we can try to send that if it is not so basically the word file is actually getting downloaded so we cannot um, do anything maybe we can just try to copy the link address i'm just trying to uh, do hit and try and see if this is going to work so this is a url okay let's say send it you got a 200 success response and you can see we we've got it over here so not sure it is a pdf for docx this file because we have not downloaded but it could be a docx because that's why it's uh, appearing yeah you see it now you've got so whatever you've given the file name it is going to clearly take this extension of that file and it is going to show us the preview on the same and we are able easily able to see the information um, we are easily able to send the details over here so that, that is about the document we can send the now where could where we could be using this document details in our real time so there could be some scenarios where you want to send the invoice to the customer via whatsapp you can use you can send the invoices maybe you can generate the public link of your content version document and then you can just uh, send those to the user and that will be available or maybe you wanted to send the order details or you wanted to send some document that they really had has to sign and get it back to you so these kind of details you can easily share with your customers with the help of the document sometimes there are also the videos that are also being sent so maybe first we'll talk about this method if you see the type is video as well and if you see under the example there is something called media messages so you can also click on that it will take you to the media message and you will see that this is a, a structure of your media message like what is the pro product recipient type whom we want to send the type here it says that id but we are trying to use a link we are not uploading we are not first uploading the image and then creating the id and then sending that so that's the one thing that we have a next thing that we need to do is let's see if we can get the dummy video url if you can get that and then maybe uh, see if that exactly works okay maybe we can try with this youtube not sure if this is going to work but we can definitely take it and let's say it is a video and this is a link 
so it says that the parameter video is mandatory okay instead of uh, document we should be making it as video so here we can see that uh, we are able to get the 200 success response but the video is not being sent over here i was able to like i was trying this before even uh, i basically started recording i was trying this but i could not able to send this message uh, the reason we are not able to send this youtube link as a video because this is not the video actually it is a link and if you really wanted to send the link then you have to utilize some of the message here we have something send a text message with preview url you can just utilize this and maybe you can send here if you see right this is something just the dummy we have and you see here now it's got or maybe if you replace your link here and send it you can see that now the video is coming here so basically that's why we are not able to send it so the reason i really wanted to send you and show you this so that whenever you are trying by yourself you're not really getting confused that um i mean this is a video but we are not able to send it it has to be a proper video proper video it could be maybe let's see if we are able to see something some video so after uh, doing quite a lot of research i've got this particular web which had some videos available here so i will i will be putting this uh, link into the description so that you can also take the help of this link and utilize for our testing purpose so let's say you wanted to send this image which is of 5 mb or maybe 12 mb you just need to go to that download link and do a right click and then say copy link address and get back to our uh, postman i did the testing using one video so that you can see here and then i'm going to say say that sample 10 seconds if you click on send it is coming as a 200 okay because uh, the size of our video is really big that's why we are seeing you see here now the video is here maybe if i click on this video So you can clearly hear the voice of the video that we have just sent, right? Maybe we can try it with the larger size of the video that is 21 megabyte and then give it a try. So basically the key takeaway I will say or the outcome of this uh, sending the video is like you must need to have a video that you can directly download, that you can directly access instead of having a link to your YouTube or Twitch or any other video hosting platform that is not going to work for us it has to be a video and the link of a video that if you paste this link in the browser your video get started downloading so if we, if we say here if i put it here it actually start going to start downloading the video for me you can see here clearly right so that's why we are when we given the url to those videos it was working out it has really got a very big size that's why maybe it, it is sending us somewhere in in the between but it's, it's definitely going to send us the video over here so yeah this is it what i wanted to showcase you here in this video thank you for your time and in the next video uh, we will see how we can send this image or a document using salesforce app Thank you.